Uh, viewers, my name is Hassan. Here is book of mathematics for FSE part 1 students. I'll provide you the solution of this book. Today, my lesson is regarding exercise 4.4, unit number 4. We are starting from question number 1. Find the 3 cube roots of. In this question, there are total 5 parts. Part number 1 is 8, part number 2 minus 8, part number 3 27, part number 4 minus 27 and part number 5 says 64. So let's solve part number 1. That is to find out the 3 cube roots of number 8. Starting our solution as let x be the cube root of number 8 then x is cube root of 8 that is it can be written as 8 whole power 1 by 3 implies x power 3 will be equal to 8 by taking power 3 on both sides which implies x cube minus 8 is equal to 0 by shifting 8 to the left side now it is of the frame x cube minus 2 cube we know the formula a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square utilizing this formula we may write x cube minus 2 cube as x minus 2 into x square plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0 which implies x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x square plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to 2 and from the other we have by using quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a we get x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 minus 16 this becomes x is equal to minus 2 plus minus inside the root minus 12 this can be written as minus 2 plus minus 4 into minus 3 by taking this 4 out of root it becomes x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 into root minus 3 taking 2 common from here we get 2 into minus 1 plus minus root 3 iota by 2 the next one time sign plus and second time sign minus x is equal to 2 into minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2 and x is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 iota by 2 that is x is equal to 2 omega and x is equal to 2 omega square difference we already discussed omega is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2 and minus 1 minus root 3 iota by 2 it is called omega square hence roots are 1 2 other comma 2 omega and the next one 2 omega square part number 2 is minus 8 we start the solution let x be the cube root of minus 8 that is x is equal to cube root of minus 8 that can be written as minus 8 whole power 1 by 3 which implies x power 3 is equal to minus 8 shifting 8 to the left side it becomes x cube plus 8 is equal to 0 so it can be written as x whole cube plus 2 whole cube this time applying the formula a cube plus b cube that is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square we reach at x plus 2 into x k minus 2 x plus 4 equal to 0 either x plus 2 equal to 0 or x k minus 2 x plus 4 equal to 0 from here x is equal to minus 2 from the other side we have x is equal to by using minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a we reach at x is equal to 2 plus minus 4 minus 16 inside the root that is 2 plus minus inside the root minus 12 whole over 2 x will be equal to 2 plus minus 4 into minus 3 taking this 4 outside the root we reach at 2 plus minus 2 into root minus 3 whole divided by 2 now on the next page x is equal to 2 into 1 plus minus root minus 3 by 2 this 2 remains same here 1 sign plus and 1 sign minus that gives us uh, omega and omega square but it is both positive so to make it omega and omega square exactly we need to multiply and divide by minus so we have minus 2 into both these becomes minus minus 1 minus root 3 by 2 and doing the same job over here it becomes minus 2 into minus 1 plus root minus 3 by 2 so this is the omega scale frame both sign minus and this one is omega 1 minus and with this root 3 
inside the root minus 3 that is root 3 iota positive so we reach at minus 2 omega scale and minus 2 omega so our total roots are minus 2 minus 2 omega and minus 2 omega scale transport number 3 to find the cube roots of 27 let x be the cube root of number 27 then x is equal to cube root of 27 that is 27 power 1 by 3 which implies x power 3 is equal to 27 that implies x power 3 minus 27 is equal to 0 it can be written as x whole cube minus 3 whole cube equal to 0 now it is of the frame a cube minus p cube so using that formula it becomes x minus 3 into x square plus 3x plus 9 equal to 0 moving to the next page we have either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x square plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0 that is either x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so we reach at x is equal to minus 3 plus minus inside the root 9 minus 36 simplifying it becomes minus 3 plus minus inside the root minus 27 divided by 2 can be written as minus 3 plus minus 9 into minus 3 whole over 2 and taking 9 out of the symbol of square root it becomes minus 3 plus minus 3 into root minus 3 by 2 taking out 3 as common we are left minus 1 plus minus root minus 3 by 2 one time positive and one time negative so x is equal to 3 into minus 1 plus root minus 3 by 2 and x is equal to 3 into minus 1 minus root 3 by 2 dear friends this represents omega square whereas this one represents omega so our roots are x is equal to 3 omega and 3 omega square hence the total roots are 3 3 omega and 3 omega square hope it is clear we move to the next part that is part number 4 here says find out the cube roots of minus 27 solution let x be the cube root of minus 27 then x is equal to uh, cube root of minus 27 which is equal to minus 27 whole power 1 by 3 which implies x power 3 is equal to minus 27 shifting 27 to other side it becomes x cube plus 27 is equal to 0 which implies x whole cube plus 3 whole cube is equal to 0 applying the same formula already used it becomes a x plus 3 into x square minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0 either x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x square minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0 from first x becomes equal to minus 3 from second using the quadratic formula x becomes minus into minus 3 plus minus minus 3 square minus 4 into a into 9 that is 4 into 1 into 9 over 2 into 1 which becomes x is equal to 3 plus minus 9 minus 36 on simplifying this becomes 3 plus minus inside the root minus 27 uh, can be written as 3 plus minus 9 into minus 3 whole divided by 2 taking 9 out of the symbol of square root it becomes 3 plus minus 3 into root minus 3 by 2 moving to the next page it can be written as 3 into 1 plus root minus 3 by 2 which is omega if you remember and 3 into 1 minus root minus 3 by 2 so to make it exactly omega it's not exactly the omega to make it exactly omega we need to multiply and divide with minus so minus 3 into minus 1 minus root 3 by 2 uh, which is now omega square so it is minus 3 omega square and same doing job here minus 3 into minus 1 plus root minus 3 by, while multiplying by minus and dividing this minus becomes plus and this plus becomes minus so it is representing now omega it becomes minus 3 omega so therefore the roots of minus 3 minus 3 omega minus 3 omega square students last part part number 5 that is 64 we start the solution on the same pattern let x be the cube root of 64 that is x is equal to cube root of 64 which is equal to 64 whole power 1 by 3 which implies x power 3 is equal to 64 by taking power 3 on both sides which implies x cube minus 64 is equal to 0 Writing in the frame x whole cube minus 4 whole cube that is of the frame a cube minus b cube applying the formula it becomes x minus 4 into x square plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0 which implies either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x square plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0 that is either x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 
माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस फोर स्केयर माइनस फोर ए सी डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू ए बाई यूजिंग क्वाडेटिक फार्मूला ओवर हेयर वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पेज becomes from first x is equal to four and from second making the simplification minus four plus minus inside the root sixteen minus sixty four that becomes minus forty eight inside the root so this can be written as sixteen into minus three we reach at x is equal to minus four plus minus sixteen into minus three by two taking this sixteen out of the root it becomes four into root minus three taking four common from here we write it as 4 into minus 1 plus minus root minus 3 by 2. 4 into minus 1 plus root minus 3 by 2 is your omega, and x is equal to 4 into minus 1 minus root 3 by 2. That is omega square. So our all roots are 4, 4 omega, and 4 omega square. Hope it is clear. Question number one is complete, dear students. We now move towards question number two. Question number two, it's Says evaluate. Part number one is one plus omega minus omega square whole power eight. Dear friends, said you can use the rough working column. We all know one plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero. That is called sum of cube roots of unity is equal to zero. So keeping one plus omega on the left side, shifting it omega square other side. This is equal to now minus omega square. Same using over here, it becomes. Minus omega square and minus omega square power is same, so this total becomes minus two omega square power eight. That means minus two power eight and omega square power eight. These students minus power eight positive two power eight is two hundred and fifty six. Omega two and whole power eight makes omega sixteen. Two fifty six number remains same. Omega sixteen can be broken as omega into omega fifteen. That becomes in the next step two fifty six omega into omega cube whole power five. As you know, omega cube is equal to one, so this becomes one whole power five, and that is also one, so it remains same two fifty six omega into one. That is two fifty six omega as my answer. Part number two, omega power twenty eight plus omega power twenty nine plus one. Solving this. Omega twenty eight can be broken as omega into omega power twenty seven. Omega twenty nine can be broken as omega power two into omega power twenty seven plus one. So this becomes omega into omega three whole power nine to complete twenty seven. And here is omega square into again omega three whole power nine to complete twenty seven. Power plus one remains same. Omega into this is one power nine plus omega square into one power nine plus one. So from here you get omega plus omega square plus one. Already you know that one plus omega plus omega square this is equal to zero. So the total becomes zero as my answer. Moving to the next play next page please. Here is part number three. It says one plus omega minus omega square into one minus omega plus omega square. Uh, writing the question same, and using one plus omega is equal to minus omega square, and one plus omega square is equal to minus omega as the work is shown here towards the right side in the rough working column. So here the first bracket becomes minus two omega square. Second one becomes minus two omega minus two into minus two. The difference becomes four omega square into omega becomes omega cube. You already know omega cube is equal to one. Four into one becomes four. That is my answer. Moving to the next part number four question is minus one plus root minus three by two whole power seven plus minus one minus root minus three by two whole power seven. Writing the question in the same manner, uh, it is already representing omega, so we get omega power seven plus this is of the frame of exactly the value of omega square, so omega square power seven. Omega seven remains omega seven, whereas omega power two whole seven becomes omega fourteen. Breaking it according to using omega cube is equal to one frame, we can write it as omega into omega power six plus omega square into omega power twelve. Dear students, remember that we use into the frame of somewhat divisors of three, and the remaining one remains same. Uh, that is less than three. 
that is omega remains same omega 6 can be adjusted as omega power 3 whole square whereas omega square remains same omega 12 can be adjusted as omega power 3 whole power 4 omega into 1 square plus omega square into 1 power 4 here comes omega plus omega square and by using its this rule 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 so we can easily write omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1 that is my answer number 3 moving to the last part of this question number 5 part question says minus 1 plus inside the root minus 3 whole power 5 plus minus 1 minus inside the root minus 3 whole power 5 Dear friends, and you know that omega is equal to minus 1 plus root minus 3 by 2. So shift this 2 towards other side. It becomes 2 omega is equal to minus 1 plus root minus 3. That is the value given over here. Likewise, omega square is minus 1 minus root minus 3 by 2. So shifting 2 towards other side, 2 omega square becomes minus 1 minus root minus 3. Utilizing this over here, uh, what we can write in the very first step as this is 2 omega power remains same 5 whereas this is 2 omega square and power remains 5 opening it 2 power 5 is 32 omega power 5 remains omega power 5 whereas 2 power 5 is 32 omega 2 whole power 5 makes it omega power 10 so taking 32 as common we are left inside omega power 5 plus omega power 10 32 taking same common omega 5 to be broken as omega square into omega power 3 whereas omega 10 can be broken as omega into omega power 9 you know omega cube is equal to 1 so omega 9 can be written as omega cube whole omega whole power 3 omega cube whole power 3 so 32 into omega square plus omega just now we used omega square plus omega is equal to minus 1 so 32 into minus 1 becomes minus 32 as my answer dear students hope you understand you need to subscribe the channel so as to get the next coming videos thank you very much